You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and it is early September, so that means it's time to talk about what I was using for the month of August. Uh, but I have a confession. I have to start out right at the top and tell you, I didn't write down anything. I have this nice little pad that I write down stuff. It's stuck to my computer right over here with this big old magnet. And um, I didn't write down anything. So my excuse is that August was real heckin' busy. There were two of the biggest pin shows of the year in August. I went both to DC and San Francisco. Uh, if you wanna see what those pin shows are like, check them out on my channel. I've got live streaming uh, walkthroughs of both of those shows up. Uh, but those took out like, I mean, that was by themselves over a week of the time. Plus I started school and all that jazz. So I've just been slazammed. Um, also, I got my 10,000th subscriber this month. Yay, that was pretty awesome. And I got to meet her. So thank you very much for that uh, that 10,000th subscribe uh, subscription. And to all the rest of you who have subscribed and watched my videos and supported my channel all this time, it's kind of awesome. This is a cool milestone and the first of many, I hope. So um, let's Let's talk about some of the things I've been using this month in terms of what I've inked up, some pins that I've gotten this month, and um, a little bit of planner talk to start it all off. All right, so I've been using two planners this year. Uh, this one is the Hobonichi Techo Cousin, which is a very nice planner, kind of on the thick side, but very, very functional, uh, all this sort of jazz. So uh, I, I've really been enjoying this planner, and it's a really good you know place to put a bunch of awesome stickers, like this very cool dog by BioWorks. Uh, I've also been using this one, which is a um, Kokyo Jabun Techo Light Mini. Uh, and I know Hobonichi, and stuff have come out already. Uh, other planners will be dropping in the next month or so, and I am just not really ready to commit for the next year. I, I don't know what I'm going to use. Hi, I don't know, man. This one is a great planner. Everybody knows Hobonichis are excellent. It's just, it's fantastic. But as you can see here, there are a, just a ton of empty pages. I am so trash at remembering to use the daily pages. They just, I just don't remember to use them. There are a couple that I use and I've tried to do various things like, you know, use them as a journal or use them as, you know, I'll write quotes and stuff or, you know, whatever else. So like, I don't know, man, I just don't do it. <laughs> so I use two parts of this. You can see there are three big old ribbons in here. The first is the monthly spread and the second is the weekly spread. And I use both of those pretty well, but I cannot remember to use the dailies. And so that gets wasted. This one is kind of small. Like I really like the size of this. I take this with me to work. This is the one that goes in the back of my like rotor fed and Toshiba glider. This thing, which I've recently taken the notebooks out of because I want to try a new notebook that um, y'all will be seeing on the channel soon, or rather a new cover that y'all will be seeing soon. But uh, this has been a very good little uh, little planner, this uh, <laughs> Jabun Techo Light Mini. I like the paper in this planner really well. Uh, I like the uh, monthly spread is very good. It's kind of minimal. I'm not going to fit a ton of things in each of these boxes, but I fit enough. And these little habit trackers I actually have been using. I just didn't use it at all in August because I've been too slammed. August was too busy. Look at all this nonsense. Um, and that's just not even class stuff. So, and then it has, you know, a nice weekly spread over here, which I use usually for kind of like work stuff. So it doesn't have a whole lot in it at the moment, but like, you know, this was, this was last, this was last week ish. So, uh, and this is just like, this is light work. So, uh, yeah, I've got a, I've, I've been using this one a fair amount and maybe I'll just go with this for next year and just go like very minimal and light because I use my big weekly spread, uh, over here for all kinds of stuff. And this is why I sort of like what I look at every day is sits on my desk. And this is sort of what I refer to. So maybe I'll use this. Maybe I just go like small Jabun Techo. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I still have some time to make decisions, so, you know. All right, on to what I inked this month. It's not a huge list, which is kind of surprising to me, but it is more than last month, which is like two things. I inked two things last month, which is wild for me. But in August, I did uh, at least a few. So this Esterbrook J, which is uh, a new to me pen. This is a really nice pen, actually. I've really been enjoying the Esterbrook J. This Ebonite feels good. It's a nice size. I love the pattern. 
pattern. Uh, this is just very nice. And this has a broad knit in it. And I have this Sailor Studio 280 ink in here, which is pretty darn cool. Like, look at all the colors in there. It's real good. Uh, I like it. It's got a lot of a lot of different multi-chrome stuff going on. Secondly, I inked up this uh, uh, this Manio Rabbit Ear Iris, which I just posted the unboxing for. Audrey actually has this one at work. I don't have this one handy, but I uh, it's in the book. So uh, that one really beautiful. This one is the Platinum Kyrdos Matte Black, which I just picked up from Luxury Brands at the DC show, and I love the feel of this pen. I think the 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 look at this. This cool matte black color and also the not translucency of it, I think, kind of classes this pin up a little bit uh, and it helps. It helps out with the look. I still do really like the feel and the form factor of the Kyrados. It works really well for me. It feels nice. It writes really well. This is a very fine, fine nib. I mean, look at that. Look how much finer the fine from Kyrados is than the medium fine from Sailor. Like that is a very fine nib. But the blue cartridge that came with it is uh, is actually really nice. I just use that because why not? But it's it's actually very good. Uh, next up, I have this Platinum 3776 Silhouette, which is the Nagasawa exclusive that I picked up in DC. This has a big old C nib on it. And I put in this um, Nagasawa Fu. Uh, uh, I think it's called Fu Fu, which is a uh, which is an automatopoeia ink for I don't know I think it's like soft things falling over or some weird thing but I really dig it uh, and uh, it's a gorgeous color like I don't even know what to call that definitely a taupe uh, then next up I re-inked this pen which is technically Audrey's but it ends up on my desk more often than not weirdly and uh, this is the Sailor 1911 special cross concord that we got a few years back just check a look at this great layered nib with this beautiful I was going to get the tip to be in focus. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. So we get an extra fine on this point and a real nice marker on the other. And this had Tasha Sabi Midori in it for like literally years. But we recently cleaned it out and I decided to throw a new uh, Sailor Ink in there. So I went with this one, which is uh, Tama Tobacco from the new Shikiori line. This is like the fairy tale series or something. And I wanted to see what this ink would do in here. And it turns out it's uh, really dark navy-ish with some uh, very nice sheen. So pretty darn cool. And then uh, we've got, i put this over here because that's where those go. And then we've got this one. This is a Pilot Custom, 90, uh, Custom Heritage 91. This has a double broad nib that was kind of boring. So I had Gina over at Custom Nib Studio do their perspective grind on here. You can see this nice like teardrop shape that we have here instead of the big blob that it was it was before. And this is a really great grind. I like it a whole lot and uh, it really improved this pen for me. But also check out this color traveler ink. I got this from Van Ness in uh, D.C. Lisa said you need to try one of these. And so she gave me this one. This is Saijo Red Brick Chimney from Color Traveler. And it's really good. I, I love this sort of mustardy, not mustardy, sort of ketchupy kind of color you've got from this. It's really cool. It's uh, it's impressed me. Now I need to get more of these color travelers. They're real good. Uh, next up is the Galen uh, and <laughs> the Galen Kaveco. This one right here. This is the newest one for this year. It's just like bright blue, which is a very nice color for this Kaveco Sport. And I went ahead and put in a uh, KWZ and Kaveco, oh, sorry, KWZ and Galen uh, ink, which is this sapphire blue that I did not know was going to have shimmer in it. And it absolutely does. So, I mean, just actually, there we go. You can see the shimmer in that ink now. I didn't, it wasn't on the bottle. It's not on the site telling me there's shimmer. I kind of wonder if my bottle's supposed to have shimmer. I don't actually know, but it does. So I've been using that in there and it's been pretty good. I did, I did leave this uncapped for a while. Like I just kind of, I forgot to put the cap back on, which almost never happens, but uh, it did. And I left the cap off for a while and it dried out on me. So I had to refill it. So it works pretty well. And this is a um, oblique double broad nib. All of these Kavecos have a ground nib, which Eunice at, um, at Galen's uh, new fiance, congratulations, Eunice, if you watch this, does uh, does grinds for them. And um, this is a really nice oblique double broad. I have been sort of working on my my writing position and angle. And so I don't really need an oblique sometime anymore. <laughs> so, you know, I, I have to like adjust to the oblique instead of the nib adjusting to me, which is not as it used to be. I used to be really into obliques because I would 
uh, rotate the pen in, but I don't do that so much anymore. So now I have to think about it a little bit, but it does end up writing very nicely. And this is a very interesting ink. So I've been trying that out. So those are the things that I inked up this month. Um, just, just these five plus one that Audrey is using. So yeah, not a huge number, but uh, respectable. All right, and then for pens I picked up this last month, I think I grabbed all the ones that I got, uh, you know, not including these... <laughs> which I inked up. So I guess those as well, but it's been a big month with two big pen shows. And so I've picked up a bunch of pens. Uh, a surprising number of them have been roller balls, which are uh, ball points, which is interesting. So uh, of course, the ones I just inked up, the Galen, the uh, 3776, the Esterbrook J, this uh, Kyrados in matte. Uh, I also got this Binu, which is our very first Binu. This is Sunday by the pool. And I literally just inked it up today with Andrew Williams' um, uh, Potomac. So we'll see how that goes. It feels nice so far, but I really like the form factor and the look of this pen. Then this is one I just picked up in San Francisco. This is, of course, a shown design full size pen. I haven't even put a nib in this one yet. I just haven't had a chance, but I'm gonna. So I got this beautiful ombre because I've been looking at this for like two pen shows and it was just time to get it. It was the last one that they had on the table. And so I snagged it. So this one came home with me. Very nice. Uh, and then I got two retros this month. I got this one at DC which uh, my friend Mark over at Rickshaw Bagworks did with Retro 51, the, the Segeha, which is just a beautiful pen that feels really good in the hand because of this acid etching uh, pattern on here. Really dig that. And then this one, which is the Owl Rescue, which I picked up in San Francisco because I missed it online at all the places, but they had a couple in San Francisco and um, you may have seen me actually tell them on the live stream to set this aside and they actually did. And so I bought it. Um, I was very glad they actually took me seriously and set it aside because this one also acid etched, which I really like. And then it's like um, bronze washed or bronze plated and then uh, has the ink over that, the, the white ink over that. So very cool glow in the dark eyes that's uh it's good stuff also this little grumpy burrowing owl on the top makes me happy so um those uh, are new and then these are new from tactile turn both are bolt actions but this is the ember which is the current seasonal very fiery pen here which is the standard size i've got a gel pen uh, refill in there uh, very nice bolt action does seem to pick up like a fair amount of like lint and stuff in the uh the oil on the on the, the carrier uh, but I just kind of wipe that off when I when I get a chance. I think that'll kind of wear off as that oil like settles in and stops picking up stuff. But uh, this is the uh, this is a newer one. This is an aluminum pen from them, and it doesn't have the characteristic uh, tactile turn pattern all the way up the barrel, just kind of here in the grip section. So it's aluminum. It's got this unusual pattern. It is a bright anodized purple, really nice, and it's got a good snap with this uh, with this bolt action which I dig. And of course, I always replace the refills because these come with a black G2 and that was just um, like not quite doing it for me. So, I mean, it's perfectly good uh, refill, but I wanted this one to be purple. So I went ahead and put a G2 purple refill in this one. And this one, I thought the ember probably ought to be red. So I grabbed a red refill from a, uh, uh, from an inner gel um, Kuro, I believe that series was called, but just a nice just nice red, nice purple. So I have those going on. So yeah, those have been my acquisitions uh, for you know August, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of it. So thanks for joining me for this. I will do. I will endeavor to write things on my little pad for September. But uh, look, no promises. All right, I'll see y'all. Uh, see y'all next month in another one of these videos, and uh, you know, check out the rest of my reviews and ink favorites and all that jazz coming up soon. It's also thirty inks in thirty days. I'll be posting those, I think, mostly over on Instagram, where they won't mess with my YouTube algorithms. Uh, but uh, I will also try to post like a weekly sort of like wrap up of my my uh, my inks, my 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 seven inks for that last week. I'll try to do it that way. I think so. Anyway, I'll see y'all in another video soon. Uh, until then, peace out.